Hello, my reading friends. Today we're going to read The Berenstein Bears' Love is Kind, written by Mike Berenstein. If you have a copy, go ahead and get it so you can read along with me. The members of the bear family usually had fun together. They had fun going places together. They had fun doing things together. They had fun just sitting around doing nothing together. But lately, they didn't seem to be having much fun at all. Somehow, fun had given way to fussing, feuding, and squabbling. Words like please, thank you, and excuse me were giving way to words like oh yeah, and gee whiz, and fooey. Instead of the fun family, they were becoming the fussy family. It wasn't clear why this was happening. Maybe the members of the bear family all woke up one morning with sore heads. Perhaps it was because of the fast pace of modern life. Or perhaps it was just one of those things. But whatever the reason, it was clear that things were going wrong at the big tree house down a sunny dirt road deep in bear country. It was certainly clear to Mama Bluebird who nested on a treehouse branch. There was so much growling and door banging that it woke up her babies. It was clear to the bear family's pet goldfish. She had to put her fins over her ears to shut out the squabbling. Even the old carved owl lamp on the living room table was beginning to look worried about the goings on. The Bear family's neighbors didn't know what to think, said Mrs. Squirrel. You'd think they'd at least keep their windows closed. My goodness, said Mr. Bunny, they used to be such a nice family. Such language, said Mrs. Frog. What do you suppose has gone wrong? Then one day, the Bear family had a visitor. It was wise old Grizzly Grant. She had heard about the trouble at the treehouse and was bringing the bears a gift. Gran rang the doorbell, but the fussing bear family didn't hear her ring. She knocked with the knocker, but the squabbling bear family didn't hear her knock. It wasn't until Gran rang the doorbell, knocked the knocker, and shouted all at the same time that anyone came to the door. Why, it's grand, said Mama. Won't you come in? Thank you, said Gran. Sorry about shouting, and excuse me for interrupting, but I brought you a gift. Would you please accept it? Gran's words hung in the air. Thank you, sorry, excuse me, and please were words the Bear family had almost forgotten about. The bears opened the gift. It was a sampler, a beautifully framed sampler Gran had stitched. This is what it looked like, and this is what it said. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. This is to remind all of you about the importance of politeness in a loving family, said Gran. The bear family was touched. Thank you, said Papa. Please sit down, Gran, said Sister. Sorry about not coming to the door more quickly, said Brother. Excuse me while I make a pot of tea, said Mama. The bear family didn't stop fussing, feuding, and squabbling overnight. But with Gran Sampler to remind them, things started to improve at the big tree house. Oh yeah, gee whiz and fooey began to give way to please, thank you and excuse me. And guess what? The bears began to have fun again. They had fun going places together, they had fun doing things together, and they had fun just sitting around doing nothing together. Gran was pleased that her plan to remind the family about the importance of politeness was working. They were the fun family again, not the fussy family. Best of all, they were a loving family.
If you like that story, don't forget to check out our other videos and hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching!